Five chances to bank cash. Five chances to steal it. Over £50,000 to be won. Welcome to Five Gold Rings. <laughs> Five Gold Rings, the show where knowing the answer isn't enough. You have got to find it and put a ring on it. You can play along by downloading the app for free right now on iOS and Android devices, so we'd love you to play. So good luck if you are going to, and if you're ready, let's meet the teams. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. Very lovely to see you. So we've got Taffa and Rachel. Mustafa, but you like Taffa. Yes, yeah. So that is what you are going to be. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> where else are you from? Uh, Somerset. And uh, your relationship? We married. are married, yeah. And actually not for very long. No, eight months. Oh. OK, so congratulations. Thank, Thank you very you. much. If you win a lot of money, I expect you've got quite a bit you need to buy. Yeah, pretty Fair much. Yeah. Paying like off everything. everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, good luck tonight. You've got your team of five up there, so introduce us to who you've brought. So I've got my two friends. Uh, my sister and Rachel's parents. Lovely. And how is he fitting in the family? Mm, OK. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You have a lot of work to do, I'm my not. friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely okay, to meet yeah. you all. Thank you very much indeed for, uh, for coming along. Over here, we've got Pierre and John Joe. Uh, welcome to both of you. Where are you from? London. London. OK. And, uh, and you work together? Yes. What's your job? Um, we both work um, in social media. How come, out of all the people that work in your company, you got together to play here? We've had to work uh, very closely together. So, so you're we, forced. To our work. job depends on us okay. getting. Yeah, right. and we can we can shout at each other without anyone getting upset. And so, as far as the the money's concerned, there's you know up to fifty thousand uh, pounds. There is no money. I can't. I'm not thinking about it. Aren't you? No, I can't. Right, just here for the fun. Yeah, yeah. I've Didn't already write. spent it in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Who have uh, you brought up here, your team of five? We've got a friend from work, um, one of John Joe's cousins, my best friend, another one of John Joe's cousins, uh, and another good friend of mine. Lovely. Well, welcome to all of you. Okay, well, earlier we tossed the coin to decide which team plays first. Pierre and John Joe won, so they decided to play second. Each team will get one shot at a question, and if they fail, the other team have a chance to steal. Both teams have two lifelines, which they can activate by pressing their buzzers. They can choose to flip the floor to reveal a different question, or they can ask their team of five, who we just met, where they think the answer is. One team could leave with tens of thousands of pounds. The other will leave with nothing. So if everyone is ready, let's play Five Gold Rings. Right then, Tapper and Rachel. Who's going to play first? I am. You're playing yes. first. Pick up that £1,000 ring. It's the biggest of the set. And I'll show you the first question. This is worth £1,000 if you can find the answer. It is a map of North America. Can you locate on this map the state that Dorothy gets whisked away from in a tornado in the film The Wizard of Oz? Going to play it? And you're on. 30 seconds. Right, babe. Okay, we'll so go. I think it's Texas. Yeah, I was thinking. Right. So we're kind of in the mid south, aren't we? So here. Yes. Hang on. Yes. Maybe up a little bit. Up a bit go more. A bit, bit more. Mm, no, no, down a bit more. Down. <laughs> so where am I going? This, this way. Yes. You sure? I think about there. I think you we're sure? pretty much happy. What do, you, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ten seconds. I'm gonna go here. Yeah. Okay. I think it's. Yeah. It's just got to be there. OK. I'm pretty sure... Maybe come down yes. just a little bit more. Just All right. a tiny right. bit more. That's fine, that's fine, that's yeah. fine, that's fine. Yeah. Sure? Yes, yes. That's right. it. Okay. Done. That's it. Your time is Ooh. up. So we want to know the state that Dorothy gets whisked away from in a tornado in the film The Wizard of Oz. And yes. the state that you think you're looking for... Texas. You think you're looking for Texas. Oh, right, so insane. if you've managed to find... <laughs> The correct answer, and it is within that ring, you will bank a thousand pounds. If not, you get the chance to steal this. Have they managed to find the right answer? Whoa! 
What's interesting <laughs> is that you were looking for Texas, which is, the in actual answer. fact, the wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> That is the state of Kansas. 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 You found it yeah. by default. Yeah. <laughs> so, well done. I mean, because you'd also got Texas that. as well. 8.91% correct. Ooh. But it only yeah. ever takes one pixel. Yeah. And you have just bagged <laughs> yourself £1,000. Let's put that in your bank. Yeah. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> OK, Pierre and John Joe, it's their turn now to play with their largest ring. So, who's going? I am. On you go. Big thousand pound ring and the very best of luck. And here is your question. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. So, uh, here's a number circle. It's running from one to 100. Can you find the number of years of marriage celebrated on a ruby wedding anniversary? How confident are you? Not at all. <laughs> Right, so, lifeline taken, you don't like the look of this one. You can ask your team of five up there if they know uh, where the Ruby anniversary is, or you can flip the floor and look at a different question. I don't know whether our guys will know this either. <laughs> I think we should flip the floor. <laughs> well, that's a lot of faith in you, isn't there, eh? <laughs> I don't know if it's their specialist subject. <laughs> oh, you're going to save them for something that they might be. Yeah. Really well, OK. Yeah. All right, let's flip the floor and look at the alternative. Here is your other question. So it's Malibu Beach, and Kim Kardashian <laughs> has been sunbathing and wants to take a selfie. However, she has lost her mobile phone. What a trauma on that beach. <laughs> it is buried somewhere in the sand, and you guys have got to find it. The key on the floor shows you the size of the mobile phone. Down here, there it is, right? And that one arrow is equal to one step. So to find the phone, you start on the X and you travel 12 steps east and 16 steps northwest. Are you going for this one or are we back to the Ruby anniversary? This one, I'd say. I yeah. think I might have to direct you a lot on this one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In which case, flip the floor back. Uh, it's the number of years of marriage celebrated on a Ruby wedding anniversary. 40 is what you were looking for, so where would 40 be on here? Well, if that's one, and that's 100, so uh, whereabouts do you reckon 40 would be? Where are you pointing? Where, here? OK, right, OK, this is where they think 40 is. Look at that! Uh... <laughs> well done! Let's have a look at the other side. This is the one you are playing. It's Malibu Beach. Kim Kardashian was sunbathing. She wanted to take a selfie, but she's lost her mobile phone. It's buried in the sand. You've got to find it. You have 30 seconds. Your time starts now. OK, yeah, start on the X. Yeah. So if you walk... If you start walking slowly east, I'll try and judge 12 <laughs> east. So bear to your right a little bit more. Yeah, keep going. OK, stop there. And I think you need to come back down by the spade. Start by the spade. OK. And then north east. Ten seconds. How long have we... 16 steps and you've got seven seconds. Go, 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 go. <laughs> OK, stop there. No, no, back a bit, back a bit, where, you're, where you are. That's it! Yep. <laughs> by the end of it, you were just running. Just had to go for it. <laughs> so, have you managed to find Kim Kardashian's phone? was the last nudge that did it. 15.2% <laughs> of the mobile phone is within that ring. It doesn't matter. It only takes one pixel. So, well done. <laughs> There's the £1,000, and it's now in your bank. <laughs> Very good. Well done. Right then, Rachel, it's her turn now to play with the next ring. As the money goes up, the rings get smaller it gets much more difficult to find what you're looking for. So, would you like to uh, pick up that £2,500 ring? And here is your question. Best of luck. It's a speech bubble and 
four Apple emojis. We've removed something from one of them. Can you find where the missing item should be? Oh, one second and you hit it. You've hit your lifeline. Not hot on the emojis. <laughs> what are you going to do? Are you going to uh, flip the floor for another one? Or are you going to ask your team of five? They look like a full bunch I up there. Do they know their emojis? No. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're flipping the floor, are we? Yes. Well, let's have a look at another question, see whether or not you like this one better. Your alternative, a 2018 calendar. However, it is incomplete. Can you find Valentine's Day? So you've got to decide whether you're playing this one or the other one. Yeah, we'll play this one. Play yeah, this one? Yeah. This one. Yeah. Right, let's go yeah. back to the emojis. I think I, I think I know this one as well. Pierre and John Joe, you work in social media. I think it's an extra Z on the sleep. I think oh, yeah. that's better. <laughs> let's have a look. Is this the missing item in our emojis? There. Ooh. You'd have got it with that ring, though. But you wouldn't have done because you no. didn't know where it was. No, <laughs> Let's put your question up, the one that you are actually going to play. So you are now looking on this 2018 calendar for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. You've got 30 seconds to find it. Your time starts now. February's there. So it's, it's, a, it's about a step between the, the actual things. So between the, the months, it's a step. Well, there's, there's the S, so that's the Saturday and the Monday and all Yeah, this. so... So I'm guessing it's, it's going to be... And if there. Cover the middle, cos it's... So it's there, so... Uh, this. Seven. How about there? Go... Do you think four, that covers it? Go, go Three, two, one... There, 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 there. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. How confident do you feel about that? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Have you managed to bank £2,500? Is that where Valentine's Day is? I'm not sure. Yes! Come on. Yes, it is. Hold on. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. Lovely. 100% of the 14 is Ooh. in the centre of that yeah, ring. Yeah. Let's reveal it all. There you go. That's what the full yeah. calendar looks like. Oh, and we're now going to put £2,500 from there into there. There it is. £3,500. So they're now taking £3,500 to the final. Pierre and John Joe, your turn now. Will you manage to up your money, which we will not talk about? <laughs> or we might, after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, before the break, Taffer and Rachel managed to bank £3,500. Pierre and John Joe, it's your turn now. If you're feeling comfortable, John Joe, I'm indeed. You're on now with a £2,500 ring, so the very best of luck. Show your skills with this question. Here is the Moulin Rouge. We've marked a section on the windmill blue. Where will this blue section be when the windmill rotates 250 degrees clockwise? Gonna play it? I feel pretty good about this. Your time starts now. You're on. Um, so I think... So 180 would be here? Yeah. And clockwise is this way. So it needs to be another 45 degrees. So that would be about here, cos it's half of 90. Yeah. Sound about right and to you? And then just... Pull it closer to 250 me. degrees is the rotation that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. 180, Seven, that's 45. Eight, six, five. Does that look about right to you? I'd say Three, put a bit more to two, the right. Yeah. One. Yeah. That's yeah. it. That's where it's got to stay. You seemed like you worked that out pretty well. Mental maths is not something I thought I'm very good at. Oh. And I think I was all right. Well, we don't know yeah. yet, do we? <laughs> I think. Yeah. You might actually not be very good at it at I all. might not, oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is worth £2,500. Have you managed to find that 250 degrees rotation bit of blue? Oh! 
oh, you were right, your maths is rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the steal. £2,500 up for grabs here. So, Rachel, if you would like to take your position by the floor, you'll have 15 seconds to find that blue piece of windmill. 15 seconds starting now. Babe, it's further that on that sense. way. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, because yeah. that was, was 240. I, I thought that was going to be fairly right, so... So it's there. That's about right. There. Yeah. Five seconds. Enough. There. Yeah. Going back to a three. Yeah, there, yeah, 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 yeah. Leave it, leave it. One. Leave it, leave it. Leave it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> right, let's see whether or not you have managed to correctly work out the rotation of that windmill sale. Have you managed to steal their money? End up. So let's spin that windmill sail and it stops right wow. where you wanted it to stop. There's £2,500 and uh, let's put it in your bank. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Recently married yeah. and £6,000 in the bank. Don't really? tell me you haven't thought about the money. 6 k Yeah. What's that going to do? Motorbike for you. A motorbike? Yes. Yeah, I, I used to have one, and I'm missing it, so I need another one. <laughs> right, what sort of bike would you get? Um, I used to have, uh, like, a sports tour. Lovely. So, um, and, Tanner, how do you feel about this? It's fine. You on the, you on the back? <laughs> no. I'll try and get my own one, no. I think. You're going to get one yourself? Yeah, get my test and do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, OK, well, where's your money going to go? I would take my mum. I'm taking my mum back to uh, Gambia. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Oh, that would be nice. So that's Terrific. What like to do. So, that's... Certainly a very big step yes. towards all of those things. Well done, guys. Uh, nice steal there. If you are playing along on the app, uh, did you manage to get that one? Did you work out the 250 degrees? The name of the highest scorer is coming up on screen now. And that's where you live. And that's who you are. Great score. Well done. If you want to see your name up there, it's not too late to get involved. So the very best of luck. All right, Taffa and uh, Rachel, it's their turn now to play with their next ring. And this one is worth £5,000. So, Taffa, you're on. As the money goes up, the rings get smaller. It gets much more difficult to find what you're looking for. Here we go. Here is the game, Snakes and Ladders. The lid of the game is covering part of the board. You've just landed on square 87, so you've got to slide down the snake to square 36. Can you find square 36? Should give it a go? Yeah. Yeah. On you go, 30 seconds to find square right. 36. OK, so there's 10 in each one. Yeah. So, so, um, we so 10, 20, 30, so you see the green? Yeah. It's going to be that row. So this row? Um, yeah. So... Heading down the snake. What number was it? 30? 36. 36. So, um, so if we're going 11 and then... Where are we? It's going to be a... Ten seconds. Sort of more on the D and the E, so I'd go for the more of the D, the E. So Five, here. four, yes. three, two, one. Yep. one. That's it. It's got to stay there. And hopefully, underneath that £5,000 gold ring will be square 36. Are they right, or do you get your chance to steal their 5K? And I shuffled it back that way. You did shuffle it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anymore, Any more, wow. you'd have been in trouble. Um, but you've made it. You found square 36. Let's take the lid off the box and, uh, and we can see exactly where it is. There you are. 20% of square 36 was within that £5,000 gold ring. There it is. And look where it goes. Wow. 
This is, I promise you, really, really early days. It's amazing how quickly that can go up. So your next ring is worth £5,000. So if you'd like to pick up the £5,000 ring, the very best of luck. Pierre, here is your £5,000 question. It is the Five Gold Rings lyric book. And here are the lyrics to the Dolly Parton song, Nine to Five. Some of the words are missing. If the font size and the letter spacing of the lyrics remain the same, where should the word mind be on this page? What do you reckon? OK. Um... So you're looking for the word mind. Do you know the song? Yeah, but I can't remember mine being in it. Sing it out loud, sing um, it out loud. I think it's in the they. I they think. get... What's mine, mm. is it? I don't know. I don't know. Put it I'm down. Like a nine mean? to five, what am I saying? Getting by. It's all taken and no given. Just I think maybe left two. where it is. I think it's sooner Eight, after they. Seven. Yeah, six, I think left come in maybe five, a third of the way. Four, keep coming, keep coming, keep three, coming. Keep coming. Two, two, one. <laughs> Well, <laughs> let's be lucky. That was a last-minute kick of the gold <laughs> ring. Do you bank £5,000 or have you got a steal? Here we go. We knew exactly what we were doing. Yeah. It was the kick. <laughs> How did you even do that? <laughs> you kicked it from here to there. <laughs> so you picked the ring across the floor and you still keep racking up the money. Right, let's have a look at the, uh, the full lyrics. There you go. Just use your mind. You used your foot. Well done. <laughs> and by doing that, you will put that £5,000 into there. <laughs> Six grand. <laughs> this is the best way to play the game. Four rings left to go with a total of £35,000. So who will claim that money? We'll find out after the break. <laughs> Five gold rings where we are discovering that you can play this game with skill and precision or you could just run around and kick stuff. <laughs> Each team has just two rings left, which means there are four chances for them to add some serious money into their prize bank. Taffer and Rachel's turn now. It's Rachel's turn to play and the ring is worth £7,500. Take your position and you'll notice the money goes up, the rings get smaller. They are very small now. Mm -hmm. You've got to be really accurate. Here's your question. This is a model of the human body. Where is the appendix? You have a play. Yep. Going to play it? Mm -hmm. 30 seconds starting now. Where is your left hand side? So, this side. Um, so. <sighs> so, little pelvis. It's kind of pelvis. Kind of here, right? Appendix, yeah. So, so go, do we think? What do we think about that? Go up a up tiny a bit. bit. Yeah. <laughs> Pulling myself. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Go up a bit. Ten, Ten seconds. Bit. Yeah. Like there. Eight, I would say. Seven. I think that's about right. Yeah. We're out a bit. Four. No. Three. No. Leave it. Two. Okay. One. Okay. Okay. I should get this right, really. What's your job? <laughs> <laughs> I work in. Um, operating theatre. <laughs> <laughs> it's very And different. have you ever stood in the operating theatre and gone, oh, I don't know where it is? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's very different to what <laughs> Is it? <laughs> is it? <laughs> I hope you're right. Oh, yeah. right. I hope you're right. Here we go. Have you managed to bank £7,500? Did you find the appendix? I 
know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> when you're in the operating <laughs> theatre, please tell me you are I... not a surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm busy doing other things, actually. Thank <laughs> God for that! <laughs> you now have the chance of the steal. So you could take their £7,500. Take the position. John Joe, do you know where it is? Maybe. Maybe. 15 seconds to find it. Either it's lower, or my instinct was it might be on the right instead of the left. I don't know. You did sports science. Yeah, OK. <laughs> so I'm going to go... He said left, so I'm going to go low. Six, five, four, More three, two, two, one. I think there. That's it. Have you managed to find the appendix? Slightly less reason to know where it is in social media. Yeah. You say? <laughs> is that where the appendix is? Oh. No. No, wow. that is not where it is. Let's have a look and see where it is. It's right down there. Oh, You're on the wrong side. Oh, so you didn't manage to steal. You had a really, really good chance to rack up some big yeah. money there. Yeah. Look what happens to that. Seven and a half grand. And it has gone. Oh, that's painful. But not as painful as it would be if Taffa was operating. <laughs> So, Pierre and John Joe, now it's their turn to play with their next gold ring, which is also worth £7,500. John Joe, you are on. £7,500 in your hands. This will make a big difference to that total because you are both playing for control of the final, which is an advantage. So you've got one lifeline left, you've got your team of five if you need them. Here's your question. It's a map of Ireland. Can you locate the capital city of the Republic of Ireland? Not confident. And you have hit your lifeline button, which means you are asking your team of five. There they are up there, so you get an extra five brains working on this. So for all of you, here's the question again. It's a map of Ireland. Can you locate the capital city of the Republic of Ireland? Each one of them on their tablet has control of one gold ring which will appear on the floor here. What we want is for them all to appear in roughly the same area. All locked in. They're all locked in. Right, let's have a look. Whereabouts have your team of five placed their gold ring? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> one of them could be right. It's up to you to decide. There is a lot of money riding on this. You can ignore these. You choose where you place that £7,500 ring. You've got to play it, though, and your time starts now. John, uh, I reckon that second ring, I'm yeah. um, just there, it's, like, in that general area, so if you sort of... And I, isn't it coastal? Yeah, like, I'd say closer to and the edge. My instinct was here, but no. it was these two. I'd say a bit further down, maybe, yeah. Uh, there? I think maybe up. Yeah, yeah. There? Ten mm -hmm. seconds. No, a bit there. further down, a bit further down. A bit further yeah. down? Yeah. There. We happy? I'm happy. I'm not sure. OK. OK. Let's lose your team of five, because this is the one that matters. Right or wrong? Get this right, you go into the lead. No. It was going to happen. Do you know what it was, wasn't it? The random five <laughs> gold rings from up there, which were extraordinary. But unfortunately, the one that really, really mattered was that one, and that's not right, which means that you guys have the steal, the chance of £7,500. So, Rachel, you're up. On you go, Rachel. Okay. 
Take your position and your 15 seconds to steal their £7,500 starts now. I have no idea. I'm going right. to go with you. I'm pretty sure it's more up. Further up? Yeah. I mean... And in. And I'm, in? Yeah. Well, no, no. Bow and down. There. Like there? Yeah. And I'm in? Not, I'm not too oh. sure. Mm -hmm. I'm... The post. There we yeah. go. I have no yeah. idea, so... I'm not really I'm too sure. I'm afraid I don't know. Have you managed to steal... They're £7,500. What is the capital city of the Republic of Ireland? It's Dublin. Dublin? <laughs> Dublin. That's what I said. <laughs> Dublin. Definitely Dublin. <laughs> Dublin. <laughs> Do you know where the capital city of the Republic of Ireland is? Is incredible. You were 67% correct. Wow. Well done, guys. The big thing here is that uh, is that you've just stolen seven thousand five hundred pounds, and look at that. <laughs> well done. Well done. But this is where it really, really gets serious now, Taffa, because it's your turn with the smallest of the rings, and it's worth £10,000. So if you'd like to go and grab that, get this right, you'll take control of the final. Here's the question. Here you can see two footballers. Pay close attention, because they're each going to take a shot, and then the game will pause. The footballs are travelling in a straight line and at the same speed. Can you find the point where the paths of the footballs will cross? Yep. Press it. There you go. Right, so you are going for your lifeline. You're asking your team of five. This is really a question of angles. Mm -hmm. Can you find the point where the paths of the footballs will cross? The ring that Taffa holds in his hand is worth £10,000. Everyone's locked in. OK, where have they placed their gold ring? Well, they're closely spaced, but are they right? It's up to you to decide. £10,000 riding on this. Best of luck, Taffa. Time starts now. 30 seconds. I okay. think the one that's closest to the centre. So? Uh, I think that one. What? This one? Yeah, I th from this, from here, I would say that's the one. I have one. But have a look around you, have a look at the angles yourself. What are you thinking? I'm pretty sure it's going to be like Not there. There. Eight, seven, six, yep. five, four, happy with that? three, two, one, ah. that's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Have you managed to find out where those footballs cross? Let's lose the rings. There are your team of five's suggestions disappearing. The only one that matters is the one that sits on the floor right now, because that is worth £10,000. Have you found the spot? We'll find out after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to Five Gold Rings. If you're just joining us, then Taffa and Rachel are at a really tense point of the game here. They have £18,500 in the bank. There's a £10,000 ring on the floor. All they had to do was to find where the two footballs crossed. You find that moment in time and you have £10,000. Are you right or wrong? No. 
which means that you are in with a £10,000 steal here. Pierre, it's your turn. 15 seconds. Find that £10,000. Away you go. Cool. OK. So a bit I'm higher? A uh, bit higher and to the right. So go in a it's line like... towards the post. No, no, no. So in between where their black circle is and the post there. So to the left, a little bit to the right. Down a bit, down a bit. Two. Down a bit, down a bit. One. Da, 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 da. That's it. I think. Have you managed to steal £10,000? OK, are they right? Have they managed to find where those two footballs cross for £10,000? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> what a shame. So, let's have a look. Where was it? £10,000 riding on this. So let's find out where it is. Oh, it's there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so much higher up than either of you thought. Let's put the team of five back again. Oh! Let's watch it actually happen. There it goes. That's it. £10,000 has gone. We've lost a lot of money so far this evening. That means that we know that Taffa and Rachel have got control of the final. Uh, now, though, it's Pierre and John Joe's turn to play with their final gold ring. It's worth £10,000, so it really could lift up what you could take home this evening. And it's Pierre yeah, that's going to play. So if you'd like to pick up that £10,000... Here is the question. Oh! <laughs> Who's that handsome chap? Oh, it's me! Hiya, Philip here. Next to me is a life-size measuring ruler, or as I like to call it, the Schofield scale. As you can see, that I am 5 foot 11 inches tall. And to prove I am life-size, um, why don't you come and, come and join me? Well, I'm not going to argue with myself, am I? So let's do what the, what the big man says. Well, sadly, not the big man. Never quite made the six foot, which is very annoying. Right, so let's uh, lie down here. That there, that there. Head on the line. Huh? Ah. Yeah. Okay. See? Told you. I know. Would you like to tell us what this is all about? <laughs> Easy. Next to me is a giraffe who has been shrunk to my height. The tallest giraffe ever recorded stood 19 feet tall. So where will the yellow line be when we increase the giraffe to its height of 19 feet? There you go, there's your question. You are looking for where the line on top of the giraffe will end up when he is 19 feet tall. Bearing in mind that you have a 5 foot 11 inch start mm -hmm. there. Your time starts now. Right, do you want to go to the giraffe's head and walk up? So, if you, uh, So, would that be...? I think where your feet are now is what Yeah. Is. Yeah, back in a little bit more. So, if that is nearly six, that's nearly 12, it's that's about... nearly 15. Maybe a tiny bit more. You've got 15 um, seconds. How tall is it again, Philip, sorry? It's 19, 19 feet. 19 so feet. So, that would be... Yeah, I reckon 18. about there. What do you reckon? Yeah. You happy? Yeah. Which almost certainly means it's wrong. Half full, not half empty. <laughs> <laughs> Have you managed to find the 19-foot line? £10,000 riding on this, or you get the chance to steal. Unfortunately, that is not right. Taffa, you're playing the steal. You could nick their £10,000 here. The best of luck. You have 15 seconds, starting from now. Right, mate, what do so you do think? Another, um, what do you think? I'm wondering whether it's a bit higher. Higher? Sure. It's so... Another one... Mm. What yeah. do you think? What do you think? I'm thinking there. Yeah? Think. Three, Down. two, yeah. one. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Time is up. Have you managed to be accurate? All you've got to do is to find that yellow line at 19 feet. 
Did you steal their £10,000? That would be 28500 in your pot if you managed. Here we go. Oh! Oh, no. What a shame. So, let's have a look. Where is the line? Where is the 19-foot line here? If you're playing this yourself now, imagine there was 10K on it. £10,000. Have you found it? There is the line. This is it. And look at this. That is how close you were. That is the difference between nothing and £10,000. If only someone had kicked it. <laughs> <laughs> what a shame. Give them a round of applause. They were nearly there. <laughs> Let's show you now. We'll make our giraffe a full 19-foot tall. Here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. And that is your 19-foot giraffe. Well, thank you very much indeed. My pleasure, Philip. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> thank you. You go first. No, 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 you go first. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. <sighs> Sadly, we lose £10,000. Oh, but you guys are playing for £18,500. You guys are playing for £6,000 in the final. <laughs> Amazing! If you are playing along on the app, let's find out who our highest scoring player is. Here's our map. Let's see where our highest scorer comes from. Congratulations. What a fantastic performance. Right, Taffer and Rachel have 18,500. Pierre and John Joe have 6,000. It's time for the final. <laughs> Taffer and Rachel, you have control of the final. That means that you play with the bigger of the rings. Because you have control of the game, you can decide whether you want to play the question with the bigger ring or you force them to play with the smaller ring. It is a choice. Mm -hmm. If you play and get it right, you'll take home that money. Get it wrong, 18,500 has gone. Force them to play and they get it right, 6,000 is yours. If you play and get it wrong, they get their money. What are you going to do? Pay close attention. This is a memory question. Have a look at the floor. Here is a whale. It's blowing out different coloured fish. You need to remember where they settle before they sink. In a few seconds, they'll be gone. There they are, disappeared. So. Where was the green fish before it sank? Are you going to play or are you going to force them to play with a smaller ring, which makes it much harder? We'll play. We'll play. You're going to play? Yeah. Mm -hmm. OK. Grab mm -hmm. that Grab gold ring. Because this one is worth £18,500. Where was the green fish? Time starts now. Here, round about here. About here. Up a bit. There. About here? Yeah. Is it in the middle? Is that far enough out? Come towards me a tiny bit. Yeah. No, no, go back tw towards you. Yeah. <laughs> and then come towards me. And... Yeah. Think about there. Round about you think that there. was about right for the green one? Yeah, I think so. You sure? Yeah. yeah. Do you see the green one? Ten seconds. I'm not 100%. Are you both in agreement? I think we'll be here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We'll stick it yeah. with it. Five. Yeah. We'll stick Four. With it. Yeah. Three. Okay. Two. One. It's a really, really big decision, isn't it? <laughs> when you know that that decision, the placing of one gold ring, is worth £18,500. You decided to play it. If they've got it wrong, you will take home your £6,000. If you've got it right, you have your £18,500. <sighs> okay. Let's have a look. Bring in the whale. Your 
eyes on the green fish, keep your eyes on the green fish. Keep your eyes on the green fish. Where is it going? Where is it going? Where is it going? It only has to be one pixel. Don't drift out. That'll do. Never has a fish tail been worth wow. more. Eighteen thousand five hundred pounds. Wow. Okay. How does that feel? Oh. Unbelievable. It's amazing. That is. That is... Money towards through. the house. Yes. Taking your mum to Gambia. Oh. Yeah. Buying your bike. <laughs> Sensational, guys. Thank well done. You. I am so sorry. You've been brilliant. You've been absolutely <laughs> brilliant. Makes me feel slightly better that I come over here <laughs> knowing that the money doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. It's been lovely to meet you. Guys. <laughs> but a big round of applause because tonight's winners have 18,500. Well done to them. We'll see you next time on Five Gold Rings. Bye bye. <laughs>